by the Twelve. I thought Ishgard remarkable, but this... We are certainly not in Eorzea anymore. <laughs> a tavern is a tavern, Alphano, here or anywhere else. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to do what I do best. Oh! <laughs> a thousand pardons, my lady. The signs of the seventh dawn, I presume. I hope your voyage was not too trying. And you are... Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. <laughs> Hancock of the East Aldenard Trading Company, at your service. On behalf of Chairman Lollorito, I bid you welcome to Kugani and invite you to take refreshments at our local offices. Lollorito? I was aware his interests extended beyond the borders of Eorzea, but not so far as Kugani. Regardless, I am disinclined to accept the hospitality of grinning merchants. Especially those who serve a master with whom we have such a difficult relationship. My, such <laughs> naked suspicion. I do hope that business with the Crystal Braves did not rob you of all faith in your fellow man. Or do you really think the chairman is plotting to drag you into another one of his grand schemes? I beg your pardon. If you are trying to win my trust, you are failing quite spectacularly. Oh dear, have I offended you? Once again, I must apologize. Too much time in the Far East, you see. One is compelled to talk in circles round everything here, and one finds oneself longing for the invigoratingly candid speech of the Uldan markets. Though, I see now that this was neither the time nor the place to indulge said longing. <sighs> Might I suggest that we continue this conversation at the company offices? Too many eyes and ears here, you understand. It would be decidedly reckless to say any more. If I may favor you with the invigorating candy you apparently crave, it would be decidedly reckless to follow a man I neither know nor trust. Give me one good reason why we should accept Lord Lollorito's invitation. Now there's the young diplomat I was told to expect. Very well then, I shall explain. You understand that you are come to a most reclusive and secretive nation, yes? One whose borders are close to foreign trade, save at this single port. Then it should come as no surprise that a great many parties have vested interests here. Merchants like myself are a given, of course, but for every one of us, you may be certain there is also an agent of a foreign government. Many notable nations and empires have embassies here, you know, including, of course, the Garlean Empire, with whom you have such a difficult relationship. To paraphrase, Kagani is teeming with Imperial spies, one or several of whom could now be listening to our every word. Something to that effect, yes. Beneath this veneer of bustling trade, a war for supremacy is being waged between world powers. One might say we were standing on the front lines, just not in public. I still have my doubts, but he may have a point. I say we accept his invitation for now. <laughs> 